Hi all and welcome to this video about the structure of ECAM. In this video I'd like to give you all an orientation of the different pages that you can use while calculating the emissions of the facility or stage of the urban water cycle that you would like to evaluate. There are four pages that you will use frequently during the during your process. The first is the configuration page, then the inventory, results, and compare assessments. The configuration is where you'll start. It's where you can create assessments. You can create a few. You can then add basic information about them, including the assessment period, constants associated with the country or region they are in, and also which IPCC report you use for calculating emissions. It's also where you load and save files, which is incredibly important since ECAM does not save any of the information you enter into it. So make sure that any time that you've worked on it that you save a new version of the file. Once you've started an assessment, you can then go to the inventory to add the data about the assessment. This is split up into two basic categories, water supply and sanitation, and within each of these categories there are several stages. To enter information about a stage, you actually create substages. You can add as many as you'd like and you don't have to use every stage. There doesn't have to be a substage for every stage. That depends on your boundary conditions and what you would like to be evaluating. So for example, if we create a substage for treatment and we click here, we can see that ECAM asks us for data about the treatment of wastewater. You can also see here that you can show outputs, hide them also of course, but show outputs so you can see how, the, how your assessment is changing as you add data. Once you've added data here, you can look at your results through the results page. It gives you a summary, a diagram, and also a printable report that gives a nice summary of everything that you've done. If you have more than one assessment, you can compare them using the compare assessments tab. And again, just like the results, there are a few different ways to view those, the comparison. Finally, I didn't mention this before, but under the More tab, there are different resources for you all, including, for example, a flow diagram, equations, information about constants, and other resources that have to do with ECAM. Yeah, make sure to check out the other videos if you have more specific questions, and best of luck with your carbon assessments.